Hey everybody, we're going to be looking at something new from Hot Wheels. It's the Monster Trucks Double Troubles. A 124th scale featured monster truck. We have Mega Rex and Bone Shaker here. The first two trucks in the mix. So let's take a closer look at what these guys do. Bone Shaker is decked out in his original deco, or classic deco. He's got the skull and the flames. And we can see on the back the little cross cell that has the explanation. Here's the toy number if anyone wants to type that into Amazon or whatnot. It helps you track down the truck sometimes quicker. There it is pull down the back and it unleashes its flame power. So that's pretty cool. It's uh, about 8 inches long. It's a fire breathing bone shaker. Kind of just brings the monster to life and out of the monster truck which the overall concept I like. So let's bring in Mega Rex to take a look at what it does. This one is my favorite one in the mix. It's the Dinosaur Mega Rex Monster Truck. You can see the cross cell. It's got a cool Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus vibe. Looks like there's frills and spit. Yeah, there's the toy number easier to track down the trucks and let's pull down the tail and oh, release the beast that's cool I like this guy a lot there's a lot of animation in him with the frills and it's even cut out of the cardboard in the back of the box that's cool this guy is definitely awesome All right, so let's get their little brothers in the shot here, just for a side-by-side -side comparison. Here is the original Bone Shaker monster truck and Megasaurus. You see the decos match. The skull in the flame, black and the red. The only difference is the foil hubs on the small guy and the UM. And on the Mega Rex, it seems like the 64 scale is a little bit darker, but it could, you know, smaller. The spray pattern is probably tighter. There's not as much uh, detail in the large scale, but it's good. It's fine. The tail is painted on the big guy, but the little guy doesn't have paint on it. That was just a quick side-by-side. -side. Big brother, little brother. I don't know, mom, dad. No, but father and son. Monster truck. Anyway, yeah, that's cool. It's like they're recreating the uh, monster truck world. So let's start opening them up. This one has your standard flip bottom. I call them flip bottoms. Uh, it's the same as the rev treads, it looks like. Probably going to have a key lock right in the bottom. Try not to rip the box. Yeah, there's the key. You just turn it. And the truck should pop right out. So there's that big stud right there that's holding it together. So here are the guys out of package and free rolling around. <laughs> Animation on the on the Megasaurus is just awesome. I love it. And the the translucent flames on the Bone Shaker looks better when you get it out of package. And I see there's the yellow flame and the engine. It's fun. It's cool. It's like a new. It's a new thing. I like that they're doing different stuff with it. That's not just the same rev treads over and over again. The translucent spittle is a nice touch. I like that. The frills are actually 
It's a softer plastic. And they're, the wheels are kind of free rolling. It's connected with an axle. They're not all independent of each other. It rolls pretty clean and nice. So there you go. So I'm going to bring in the 24 scale Bigfoot die cast just for a size comparison. And the sculpt on the, the Double Troubles are a little chunkier. It's more cartoony. It's not as realistic as the 24 scale. So, but these are plastic items and not die cast. So it's par for the course, just like the rev treads are squattier and a little more fluffy, a little chibi deformed styling. Okay, 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 settle down, guys. That was just uh, side by side. And then here is the father son combo again out of box. You can see how big they are in comparison to each other. And yeah, you can interact with the larger cars with the smaller monster trucks and kind of like fight them and eat them. I don't know, kind of make up your own stories, which is which is cool. It animates the the trucks and gives them a personality. It's a fun idea. But barfs them out. Kind of stuck. Yeah, so this stuff is, it's neat. It's a new offering. I like it. Kind of. You're going to take his toys and leave. He's done playing with them. Yeah, so there's lots of potential for storytelling here with this item. Let's pull in some die-cast cars and see that size. So yeah, these larger monster trucks can terrorize your Hot Wheels city cars and bounce around, eat them, set them on fire, run them over, do whatever. The, the world is all kind of mishmash compatible. You can make it whatever you want, and this just gives you another way to play. That's not uh, a flywheel, which we haven't seen in a while, or at least I haven't seen in a while. All right, come on, son. I'm taking you home. Rah. Ah, but come on, Dad, I wasn't done crushing him. Oh, no. I'm just spit on you. Yeah, nothing like a little bit of dinosaur barf. One thing I wanted to mention is that these guys really remind me of the old school road beasts. It's almost the same thing. The difference between this and the Road Beasts is the Road Beasts had a little more uh, car architecture. Like it was kind of a half machine, half beast. While the Monster Truck Double Troubles are a complete uh, copy of the smaller die cast size. But the Road Beasts made noises, they kind of flicked their tongues, the jaws came in and out, and there was a bunch of different scales and sizes. I mean, it's very similar. It's very cool. The, you know, I would like to have seen kind of like more engine fantasy detailing in the Mega Rex or something, but we'll see. Maybe it'll, they'll get better with the styling as it as it goes along. And here is a uh, old school Attack Pack as well. So, the Road Beasts evolved from the Attack Pack. So I think these guys all kind of live in the same anthropomorphic universe. This is my favorite Attack Pack, the Grizzlar. Is like a bear or a warthog? There's lore. Yeah, attack packs were amazing. Go out and get some if you can. It was a great piece of uh, Hot Wheels history. So these are like the uh, great grandparents of the Monster Truck Double Troubles. 
So yeah, that's it for the review on the Hot Wheels Monster Truck Double Troubles. It's a fun line. I like it. It's uh, seems kid friendly. Nice fluffy shapes. It's cool. So if you uh, like the content, please comment, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And I will see you next time.